To add text to a page, navigate to the Insert tab from the panel to the right and select the Text Box option. Alternatively, double-click the body of the page and select the Text option from the pop-up dial. A new text box will appear. Type text into the box and use the options bar above it to format the text. Use the drop down to the far left to change the text format. Title, heading, and subheading should be used to create sections of text and establish a hierarchy on the page. Normal should be used for paragraphs, and small can be used for captions. Other style options include bold, italic, alignment, numbered list, and bulleted list. To create a clickable link that leads to another website, file, or page, click the chain link icon. Type the desired link text in the text field. Enter the destination URL into the link field or select a site page and click apply. The text will appear as a clickable link that's blue and underlined. To modify the link, Click it and select the pencil icon, or click the trash can to delete it. See our other videos about sharing files from Google Drive for instructions on properly linking to Google Drive files. We recommend drafting large blocks of text in a word processor outside of Google Sites, such as Microsoft Word or Google Docs, because they have better spelling and grammar check features. When done drafting the text, Copy and paste it into a text box in Google Sites. Then, highlight the text and click the Clear Formatting button, which looks like a crossed out T from the options bar. This will remove any wonky formatting. To delete a text box, click the trash can icon. Click the three dot button to access other formatting options, such as code font and strike through. To resize a text box, Click and drag the blue handles that appear on either side of it. To move the box within the section, click and drag the handle that appears to the top center of the box to the left or right. More information about Google Sites can be found on our other videos, or by visiting the PLU Knowledge Base. If you need assistance, please feel free to reach out to Instructional Technologies.